Hey guys, it's the Doo Doo Talks and welcome to another video. For this video, I'm going to be talking about the Earthless gig which took place at the Deaf Institute in Manchester. So, for those who don't know who Earthless are, shame on you. They are a psychedelic stoner rock band formed by drummer Mario Rubelkaba. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Who also drummed in Rocket from the Crypt. They have four studio albums, the most recent being Black Heaven, plus a split record with Harsh Tug, which I actually bought on the night. In my opinion, the best way to describe the music by Earthless is to literally drive across the vast desert in a roofless Cadillac at a high speed whilst on mushrooms, and somehow you end up flowing through a cluster of nebulas with your hair blown in the breeze. That's the sort of feeling you get from listening to them. Anyway, in other words, they're fucking awesome. So, to kick things off tonight was the band Comic Control, who are a Canadian psychedelic rock band from Toronto in Canada, who were actually formed from a band called Quest for Fire, who split up in 2013. And fun fact, that that name, Quest for Fire, was named after a cult film made in 1981 by Jean-Jacques Arnaud, which has the mighty Ron Perlman in it. So, prior to the gig, I actually only heard one song, which was Dig Out Your Head, and I really liked that. So, I was definitely looking forward to seeing them play, and from watching them, I definitely enjoyed their set that night. I liked the dreamy vocals, and when listening to them live, I found myself slowly banging my head, sitting down to the riffs. It was, it was lovely. And they do get a thumbs up from me. Plus, I've recorded a little bit from one of their songs. <laughs> was about to come on now and the Deaf Institute was packed out like fuck as it was a sold out gig and I was luckily still sat down at the back which was great for me as I, do, as I was going to have a really good view of the band. The only downside was actually one idiot almost sat on me but you know it's a small price to pay and I was ready. Now I've actually seen Earthless before when they supported Russian Circles years and years ago at Islington Mill in Salford. I had literally forgotten what to expect, but I was sure to definitely I was going to get a reminder. See, the thing is, and then this is what I love about Earthless and psychedelic music in general, is that you can chill out to it and also you can like totally lose your shit, as I saw by how crazy the crowd were at the bottom. They opened up with Allura Rock from the album From The Ages, which, to be honest, I'm not too familiar with. But man, hearing it live was absolutely epic. And it just got better from there. And they were like playing a couple of songs from Black he Heaven, which is an awesome album, which felt like it bled into one like huge song as a jam. I was hoping, actually, they would play Godspeed, but you know what, I was happy to hear the cover um, Cherry Red live because I just had it stuck in my head all day that evening and they ended the night with a cover of Communication Breakdown. Honestly it was fucking incredible and not even waiting ages for the replacement coach at Manchester Victoria Station could bring me down. So I'm just going to end this um, bit about Earthless with some footage. Apologies for the mediocre quality, that's what you get for having an iPhone 6. <laughs>
thoughts on the gig, leave them below in the comments section. And my next gig will be Baal and 100 year old man at Manchester Rebellion on next Friday. Also, shout out to the guy who recognised me at the gig and also told me about Quest for Fire. Someone actually recognised me. I So, I hope you really like the video. Um, if you like my robotic nasally tones, please like and subscribe. And cheers. So, yeah. Have a good one.